This was my brother's senior night and his last ever wrestling duel, and I also conducted some interviews at the end. I want to see you get out there next time, Graham. Is that a possibility? Sure, I'll do the fireman carry. <laughs> kind of illegal <laughs> for I'm sure. I've never been to that. So, here with Kelsey, this is apparently, so it's senior night, right? But this is basically the last ever East Wrestling duel in the history because East Wrestling won't be a team anymore. So, but hopefully it'll go well and here's the duel. <laughs> he just said receive. <laughs> He's wearing the same headgear as Bryce had. Bryce wore that same headgear. Let's go, team! Let's go, Carter! Oh, oh, get the pick. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Trying to get the new far record this season. I, was, I told him I would get him a, a cool montage. Dude, Stephen Henry looks cool.
Uh, I can't see anything. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with my brother. Uh, who, who are you? I'm um, Carter Patrick Henschel. You had your senior night today. How did it go? Went pretty good. Uh, yeah. Dominated the whole match. Fandom, pretty good. What can we expect next from you? Any predictions for the end of the year? You know, we're qualifying for state, baby. Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank you. I'm here with my grandma. What'd you think of the duel? Oh, it was fantastic. Nail biting. I want to see you get out there next time, Grandma. Is that a possibility? Sure, I'll do the fireman carry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a family tradition. Family so. tradition. I'm here with my mother and father. Hola. Hey. How, how, did the, how did the meet go? I thought it really well. I think considering that we forfeited five weight classes and kept it to within 20 like that, pretty impressive. It was I would, super fun. I'm glad Carter got a pin. Yes, definitely going into uh, Carter's last couple of matches. What are some words of encouragement for him? Let's just have some fun, enjoy the moment, be present, and just get after it. Ditto. I'm here with my brother's wife, Maddie. First time at a wrestling duel. Yes. What did you think about it? It was great. Do you think, uh, do you kind of regret not wrestling yourself? No. No. No, I don't. <laughs> All right, that concludes it. Uh, I'm here with my girlfriend. Kels is going to give you a little interview. Hi, I'm going solo. Took pictures tonight. It was fun. Don't miss taking pictures in the dark, but it's okay. Carter did great. Team did great. So overall, great time watching my brother compete. Had a big support group there, so it was cool to see a bunch of the family and just kind of everyone in general. And now I do want to clarify this. Uh, I did say on the, in the earlier in the video that that would be East's last, you know, actual wrestling duel because basically, like. A week or two ago, I was told that they are conjoining teams and it's going to be one West Bend team, which I believe they should have done that for years because I believe we actually probably could have, could have won state as a team in wrestling. But guess what? Both of our teams will probably never make it to team state and um, just... It's just a kerfuffle. I don't even want to talk about it. But nonetheless, I guess there still will be a separate East versus West team in the same school. Now, because it was my brother's senior night, basically leading into the postseason, here's some tips, Carter, if you are watching, just some things to think about. It would basically just come down to how you handle the pressure is how you will compete. What that means is a lot of the times people can get in their heads and especially me, I guess my junior year, I was super in my head that I needed to make it to state. It was like my lifeline. Like I was gonna die if I didn't make it. And guess what? I didn't make it and I was so scared to shoot. I was so scared to fail, scared, scared of you know losing in front of my family and my friends and losing in front of myself. And so if there's one thing I would say is just trust that you know all the work you put in like through the summer with the team, the work is in and you are good enough. You know, I know how how we wrestled and you're like you're pretty darn good so i can't wait to watch you make it to state here it should be a lot of fun and just be excited about the opportunity now also big news my social media course actually just dropped now i was kind of leaking this for a couple weeks now and on my instagram and tiktok they heard it first when my social media course was actually out but now you can get it with the link in the description below basically if you guys want to take social media seriously and build your own personal brand basically just get you know followers and likes and views and whatever you want i gave you my exact blueprint literally what I would have told myself as a younger creator. And again, if you're someone my age or even older, this can still be just as beneficial to you. And what's cool about it is I made it more specific to athletes. So if you like my videos or if you're even in, in a different sport, you can apply these same principles to your content. So once again, if you guys wanna get that social media course, I highly suggest it. It's with the link in the description below. Now for me, I got a couple more big duels coming up before our regional and national tournament, but I actually had the privilege to train with the world champion, Stevan Micic. Super, super crazy. I 
I heard that he actually had like an academy in Chicago, which was about just an hour and a half away from Parkside. And I hit him up. Next thing you know, he drove up a couple days later. We got a great workout in. We got him on the Clash of Combat podcast. So if you guys want to go watch that, super phenomenal podcast. One of my favorites we've ever done. And that video will be coming out hopefully next week. I want to spend a lot of time working on it. It's going to be a phenomenal video, but I'm so grateful for Stefan coming up and giving me that opportunity. Now, I'll actually leak a little bit of that video here at the end, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to the patrons supporting me over on there, and we'll see you guys next video. Let us kick it on our block like we used to. I just feel better on a robo. I could really get her, but she on us. Baby said she love me. She learned a hard way. Now she All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with something good. Get him reaching. If you want to come come work out with me before I get ready for the Olympic Games too, you're always welcome to come. Yeah.